Hello everybody, this is Serpent, and welcome back to another episode in whatever this thing is. How's it going? <laughs> Flit, Flit and I are doing fine. I have just, just, uh, just barely finished making this nether portal. Or, well, maybe just barely is a little bit of an over, uh, maybe, maybe a bit of an understatement. I have, uh, I have been doing other stuff. In fact, I have made this gadget. I'm not sure what it does. Oh. Eh, eh. Whoa. Interesting. Oh, that was a resize. So if I if I grab some wheat or something, of course I don't have any wheat. It, it's supposed to breed animals, by the way. If I grab this stuff, huh? Ooh, did that work? Yeah, I think I think it did work. Nice. Okay, so now I don't have to go in there and manage to right-click on them <laughs> each time. Which, uh, I mean, it wasn't all that, all that painful, but whatever. Any new, <laughs> any new luxury is good. So, I want a jetpack, <laughs> and I have, I have to admit, I'm sure most of you know what this does. This tuberous jetpack. <laughs> But I have never seen it before, and I want I want to test it out. I, I know it's probably a troll, but I'm taking it. <laughs> okay, hasn't blown up blown up yet. That's useful. <laughs> That's useful. Now, what does it do? <laughs> Jetpack fuel depleted. Hmm. <laughs> Says it's full. I think I'll try and charge it though, and for that I need a charger, so that's not something I have. Charger, maybe anything in here, is, is any of this cheap? Doesn't look like it. Maybe, let's see, I guess, let's see what the energetic infuser is. Costs, hmm, a couple pieces of silver, some redstone. Tin, glass, iron, and copper. That's not too bad. I can do that. And this should do it. Yep. Great. So now if we plop that down here, it's getting power and putting that in. Hmm. Seems to be charging at 50 RF per tick. Let's take it out and see if it, <laughs> if it does anything. Now, as I said, hmm, no, I think what it's doing is just hogging up power and doing nothing. <laughs> I, I was sort of hoping for a little bit more, maybe a, I don't know, <laughs> maybe just something, maybe, maybe disappearing after 30 seconds or something. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can actually get ourselves a real jetpack, though, like this leadstone jetpack. We need some lead, obviously, and then we need more lead, copper, sulfur, redstone. I don't know if I have sulfur. That's the problem here. Uh, not in this chest, I don't. Not certain. I'll check around, but I'm pretty sure I don't have sulfur. Now, how would I get that? <laughs> sulfur. Crusher or a chemical injection chamber. Interesting. But I think you can get it from creepers, right? Maybe I'll go hunt some creepers. Come on, Flitzy. <laughs> let's let's go show the show those creepers who who's boss. <laughs> Last time I took him out for a walk, he didn't exactly survive very long. So hopefully he'll do a little bit better this time. I'm counting on you, I'm counting on you, Flitzy. <laughs> Flitzy poo. Hmm. No, I don't see any creepers yet. In fact, I don't see anything. <laughs> I'm assuming something's out here, though. I'll just keep walking. Rec I'll start recording again when something interesting happens. Aha! <laughs> okay. Gotcha. And a second one. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Go get him, Flitzy. Get him! Nice. Ow! Get hurt too. <laughs> now, do I have any... 
Oh, son. Come on. <laughs> He's got no help. If only you could revive him. Well, I guess I'm creeper hunting on my own then. Ah, <laughs> Mumbo, why'd you have to do that? <laughs> I know it says Space Toad, but Mumbo did all the work. <laughs> he had a sword. Cheater. <laughs> Funnily enough, he did not have a spoon. Okay, okay. Flitzy. It's, it's your, your time to shine. Save me. <laughs> I'm expecting him to do all the work. I'll just sit back and relax. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Hopefully quite poorly. Yeah. Unfortunately, he hasn't proven himself to be a very worthy companion. Ah. Okay. He is also very, very awful against skeletons. <laughs> Just, uh, just, it, <laughs> Flitzy, do something, <laughs> some, some protector he is, <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get my grave, a little bit, <laughs> okay, regroup, get, get some health, Eh. Eh. No. Darn it. <laughs> is is Flit back here yet? No, he's actually survived longer than I have. Interesting. Also, weird frame rate lag. Okay. Flit has one more chance to prove himself. There's this this creeper right here. <laughs> I'll give him a whack. See how, he, see how he deals with him. And not very well. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> Boy, he took my chest plate. <laughs> what a what a hog. And my lunchbox is on the ground too. Okay. I need to be able to get up. Do I have any of these things? I'm trying to I'm trying to middle mouse click these things so that I can actually build up and then organize my inventory. But I've got none of the, that stuff in my inventory, so it's not working. Not, no dirt either, really. Okay, I think I outran him. Let's put that on. Maybe I can come back in and swoop. <laughs> oh, of course, my lunchbox is all empty. <laughs> Fantastic. And I got that. Now I need to find that. Oh. Now I need to find that space toad guy and get my stuff back. Oh. All this stuff. Okay, thank you. All that all that stuff was in the way, so I, I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't hit him through all the grass. Darn tootin' I got revenge on him. <laughs> So, I think perhaps, <laughs> I think perhaps we will put a hold on the jetpack situation, at least because I don't have the sulfur. And I think the other parts probably take sulfur, right? Oh. Ooh, that's what they take, right? <laughs> yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll give it a wait on the jetpack thing. But anyway, that doesn't mean we have to stop what, what I was actually planning on doing, though. Which was something I can't remember at the moment. <laughs> uh, what was it? Hmm. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. Let me think about it. One thing I did want to want to test out before we do move on to that, though, is this thing. If I'm not much mistaken, this is a an axe, a shovel, and whatever else you want it to be. Pickaxe, all that stuff. So I think I'll have this be my all, all all my other tools so that I can save inventory space, and then I'll just keep this and this as my attack and pickaxes, and then yeah, th that's about it. Sorry, I think from here we can go into the Nether. Although I do quickly want to make a a gun because my old one ran out. Oh, <laughs> of course it has to be smooth stone. 
I don't have any smooth stone. Has to be it. Has to be it anyway. <laughs> and there we go. So let's just quickly make up a gun. Like this, I think. And lever on the back with some sticks like that. Yep, there we go. So, now we have some form of defense. And I, I, I'm also bringing along my thermometer. Because I figure there's probably going to be stuff we want to thermometize. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. This is the first time I've been in the nether, so I suppose it might take a minute to generate. A little bit inconvenient. Hopefully we don't get mobbed while it's doing so. Hmm. Perhaps I'll just let it do this for a minute. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> we have a black screen. It ought to generate load, whatever, pretty soon. That was the sound. And here we go. That guy's just so happy. Whoa. Uh oh, that that's uh <laughs> that's a manticore. Manticores and I don't get along so well. If you, uh, if you remember, <laughs> I think I shall. Oh boy, there uh, there's a pig riding a manticore. We may need to take drastic action quite soon. Ah, that was not a good time for it, <laughs> and I've blocked myself in already. Hmm. Is he gone? <laughs> he is actually. That's surprising. Ah, well. <laughs> How convenient. Cobalt. I did also, by the way, get that upgrade kit that I was talking about. Ugh. <laughs> if the manticore comes now, I'm I'm dead meat. Eh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh inconvenient. But anyway, I got the upgrade kit, so now this thing mines cobalt. And looks like we actually did find some cobalt there. <laughs> Those manticores, man. They're, uh, they're just wandering around willy-nilly all over the place. It's disturbing. <laughs> disturbing the peace. Disturbing my, my peace of mind. Ooh, ghostwood. Neato. I remember seeing this on, uh, Someone's skyblock. I don't remember who's. <laughs> but it, it looks pretty cool. I, I would like a sapling. Ah, there we go. No? Where'd it go? Hey, <laughs> where's my sapling? <laughs> uh, sorry. Caught in my throat. Hmm. Come on. Saw sapling fall. <laughs> it's weird how they just disappear. Is that, uh, is that a feature of the ghost wood? I don't know. Anyway, we have one now. It's okay. <laughs> that should probably be enough quartz for a little while. Let's, uh... Shoot the end. <laughs> yeah. Clang. Whoa, that's a lot of cobalt. I am not... <laughs> Come on. There we go. And, of course, it fell in the fire. Although, actually, honestly, he might not have even dropped anything. Sometimes they drop impied, which is uh, useful for stuff. <laughs> Sometimes. I think you could make leather out of it. Anyway, it seems to be a rather uneventful nether. At least for the moment, now that we've gotten past the manticores. <laughs> There's a ghast out here by the manticores. Maybe it'll get eaten. Okay, uh, <laughs> This gun is pretty good, actually. I know it's just made of stone. Actually, that might have been an, uh, what I what I just said, a, a ghast getting eaten by a manticore. Those things are vicious. <laughs> Don't want to get on the wrong side of them. Of course. Uh, of course, they, they are defeatable, but, I mean, they are also pretty vicious. <laughs> Maybe the ghasts can't defeat them, but someone with... Someone with such massive skill as myself can certainly take them on. Puff puff. What? <laughs> Pack of three of them? That's no fair. Right by my cobalt, too. Well, I'll come back for it. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> so I've, I've gotten a, a, a lot of cobalt into Art 8. Apparently, 
I am. Oh, there's a Manticore there, a Manticore there. <laughs> Good grief. They're, they're prolific. Anyway, I, I got a lot of Ardite and Cobalt, so what I'm trying to do now is head over to Slimy, slimy Island I saw over there. I, re I really need the slime stuff, although actually I'm not entirely sure if it's the right kind of slime stuff. Still though, it should probably work, maybe, kind of. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. I have to be honest. It might not be anything near what I want. <laughs> although actually, even if it isn't what I want, it's still I, I do still know that it has a use that I want, so not going to be a waste either way. Anyway, though, my inventory <laughs> is quite full, and as I say that, I realize I have a backpack. <laughs> Come on, open the backpack, put stuff in it. <laughs> Ugh. Sometimes I just uh, forget the obvious. Might as well pick up this Ardite. <laughs> more Ardite, more Ardite. It's weird. I think I have a... I think I seem... Well, I seem to have a lot more auras than other people do, which is a little odd, but hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, I actually really dislike the mining aspect, or at least the grinding mining aspect. I'm fine with it generally. I mean, just so long as it doesn't get repetitive, which is why I sort of like the uh, concept of more auras. <laughs> hmm. Does this stuff light you on fire when you break it? No, I think that's when you step in or something. I'm pretty sure there is some some condition which <laughs> when you step in it or step in something here squelches. Magma cubes nearby? No, but okay. I'm pretty sure you can light yourself on fire with this stuff. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Not to mention the lava all around it. And I'm running out of uh, running out of food. Hmm, it's tainted soil. It's interesting. Can I... Oh, can I use it for anything? I can make soul sand. And that's it. Okay. Coolish block, but I don't have the inventory space for it. Sorry. No use. Uh, hmm. I hear a ghast. <laughs> I... Oh, okay. Stepping in it's fine. Interesting. Maybe it's just the lava then, because you are in rather close proximity with lots and lots of lava. Speaking of which, this is dangerous. Pretty sure there's a very thin layer of dirt between me and lava, so... Every now and then you hear that. I'm almost certain... I'm almost certain that that is the manticore... <laughs> the Manticore population taking on the gas population, and the gas population c coming out for the worse. <laughs> anyway, I think that's about all I wanted to record for just right here. I'll see if there's anything else interesting in the nether. Firebat! <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> These things are evil. Horrid. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna run. He's too squirmy. <laughs> Plus, I don't have my frying pan out. That was smart. there's some sort of ghost following me too. Yeah. And a manticore. Okay, this is getting bad. <laughs> it's turning south. Give me that. <laughs> eh. Okay. Hopefully the manticore will eat the imps instead of me. <laughs> it seems to dislike everything except the pigmen. Or maybe it just dislikes ghasts. <laughs> uh... There are a lot of matches. Oh. Oh. Ah. No, no, no. There's one right up there. Might have seen me. No? Good grief. <laughs> Those things are deadly. And that's not even the fire the fire variety. Although to be honest, I'm not sure if the fire variety is any different. <laughs> Still though, it seems like it might be different. Ah, so after a thrilling, successful adventure containing no deaths and many riches collected, <laughs> we are back at the base, and what I want to do is make 
maybe make some tools. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe I'll just do something else. Although, to be honest, my my pickaxe is right about out of durability. So, maybe I will just make tools. It's not like I am lacking in supplies now that I have supplies. <laughs> so, we might do that. First, though, first, there is something that I just put away. <laughs> You can, you can make cool stuff from this. I'm sure most of you know about this, but you can make slime slings and slime boots out of it. <laughs> and you can also use that stuff for cool things. So just give me a second to make that. Woohoo! <laughs> it's the ne next best thing to a jetpack. And maybe even better, because it's definitely a lot more fun. Oh. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, nice. So that is actually going to be quite helpful for getting around. <laughs> maybe even maybe more helpful than you might think, because it does seem it does seem a little bit odd, I guess. Just the <laughs> the mode of transportation seems like it might not be all that great. But, I mean, it it does work quite well, so, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we do, so, <laughs> that, that was a bad sentence starter. So, the reason we went to the, went to the, that place, the nether, <laughs> in the first place, was to get the glowstone. And we do have glowstone now. So, the reason I wanted that was for niter, and the niter will allow us to progress through thumbcraft a little bit more. So I'm going to head down into our tunnel that has the thumbcraft thing into it, in it, and get that niter made. But first, I also need some charcoal or coal and some torches. So in our thumbonomicon, we have a request for yellow niter, which is ten ignis, ten lux, and ten potentia. Now, the coal here has. Let's see, Ignis. <laughs> um, oh, right, right. Hold on, that's not that's not how you do it. Niter, search it up, and then you search up this. <laughs> so you can get it from. Where's the coal? I know there's coal somewhere. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of pages. Hmm, where is the coal? Here. So, 10 from coal. Now, coal also gives you, I think, huh, oh, gives you potentia and ignis. So, 10 ignis, 10 potentia, right? Yeah. And then, the last thing we need for the niter is lux, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, lux. And you get five of that from torches. So I think that's good. But what else? Hold on. <laughs> what else does this thing give? It gives one ignis as well as one potentia. I don't know. Let's just toss stuff in randomly and see what happens. <laughs> I think that's probably a, a, a better idea. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Whoosh. Whoosh. Eh. Okay, maybe I, maybe I did that wrong. Oh, nope, didn't. <laughs> okay, so this this is a little confusing the, the way to have it set up. So 10, 10, and then this thing gives five each. So for one of these, two torches, and then one of that. Okay, so that is more torches than I can uh, than I can toss in because I don't have the torches. Hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's just leave it there. The point is we have the niter. <laughs> Complete. So I want to take a quick break from what we were doing there and just make some more tool stuff because I do rather want to leave my uh, my old Electrum pickaxe behind. 
that's, uh, it's still smelting up. Anyway, so I want to make a pickaxe, and I have decided that I'm going to make it out of paper binding, uh, I'm going to give it a paper binding, manulin head, and, not, not a manulin head, uh, cobalt head, and a cobalt tool rod as well. For some reason I can't find the paper, so let's just harvest some more. Anyway, now, we, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's not about, that's, that's about it. There's not too much to it, really. I'm just going to do that, and I also want to try and see how many, well, I want to see how many modif modifiers I'm going to be getting from that, because I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, though, we should be getting a pretty good amount because of paper binding, and I'm pretty sure Cobalt has a fairly decent mo uh, modifier number as well. Handle 0 0.9, huh. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, what about Ardite? The tool mines faster as it wears out. It does less damage. Hmm. Your tool loves stone. It literally wants to absorb it for durability. Ah, that's interesting. Actually, that might be a good thing to put on it. Because it also increases the modifier modifiers. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think I'll put this on it instead of the instead of the cobalt rod. Ha! <laughs> it's cooling. There we go. So we have our three pieces. We should put them together in the tool forge now. And pop, 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 pop. Okay. So we have how many modifiers? Two. Hmm. Two isn't all that many, is it? <laughs> Interesting. However, we do have uh, how much durability? <laughs> What's it say? Nine hundred and thirteen durability instead of one hundred and forty-two. <laughs> so that's a big improvement. Now we don't have fortune on it, but we don't really have fortune on that one either. It's uh, it's just level one, thirty lapis, <laughs> and. Ooh, ooh, I can, I can put redstone on it. <laughs> Sorry, my, my brain is not functioning properly. Although, honestly, I don't have the redstone to spare for that. <laughs> so, let's see. What else could I put on it? Just right now. Not that. <laughs> this. Let's see. We have luck. We can't really do that. Nor can we do haste. We could do... Uh, silk touch I don't want. Not yet. Hmm. <laughs> None of these are really all that great either. The height plus plus and the width plus plus might be good, but I don't think I want that yet, because I think I just want a normal pickaxe, really. Okay, <laughs> what does embossment do? Adds traits of another part. Ah, interesting. That looks a little expensive for me, though. I don't have that slime. Okay, so I think that's about it for the pickaxe, and also for this episode, <laughs> because unfortunately that's about all the time I have for today. So, hopefully you enjoyed it, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye. Oh, oh, this is a good outro. Bye-bye. <laughs>